Hey, what's going on everybody? TJ here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Bona Fitness All-in-One Skate Tool. Alright, so I just cut the outside so that we can open this thing and give it a first look. Okay, so we have this small attachment which I believe is an Allen key. Uh, yep, so it's an eighth of an inch Allen key attachment. And here we have the actual tool. I really like this because it actually does that rotation thing so you can set it to loosen or tighten without having to keep taking it off. Thought that that was really awesome. It even has a little L and a little R, if you can see on the camera. Try to... All right, and over here we have a 9 16th socket, which is good for your kingpin. Fits right on there, nice and snug, that's good. And then on the other side, it's a half inch socket and they are actually labeled on this tool which will be for your wheel nuts a little loose but it'll definitely fit okay and then down here we have it comes with a bearing tool to pop bearings out but if you take that off then you are left with your hardware socket. Pretty sweet. Up here we have the 5 16th rethreader. So if your trucks, if the axle starts to get too, um, too crusty, too used up, maybe you're doing a lot of primos or something, then you can actually rethread with this tool so that the nut will actually be able to fit on it a lot better and properly. Up here we have a little uh, grip tape sander. What do they call it? A precision file, right? So when you cut grip, you can actually use the precision file to make sure that all your grip is nice and smooth and it's all laying down so you don't peel up. This is pretty cool. In the back here, there's this little attachment holding in the um, Phillips head and an Allen key that fits right in the back here. That's actually pretty awesome. This ring on it kind of just keeps it stable inside of there, right? Gives it a little bit of tightness so it doesn't fall out on you. And that is all the features of this tool. Really awesome and I'm excited to use it. Okay, so currently I am switching the wheels and bearings on my board, trying out this new tool. So far it's actually been really awesome and helpful. The bearing press is actually I would say a better method than just pushing it and popping it like how most people usually would do. The bearing press is actually pretty handy. Uh, now I'm going to try using the rethreader because this is definitely hard to get the nut back onto this axle. So I'm just going to line it up nice and flat, start spinning it. Slight resistance, but it feels pretty good. Really excited to see how this turns out. I'm just going to go until I can't anymore. Take this thing back off. Ha! 
How about it? That's pretty cool. All right, now the real test, is it gonna make a difference when I put the nut back on? All right, washer's there, wheel, washer, and let's see. Oh my God, that made actually a huge difference. I'm really surprised. That, that made it a lot easier for me to put this back on. This one was definitely really hard for me to get off. So the rethreader on this tool is actually really awesome. I'm gonna go back and redo all of these. This is working great to get the, the nut on. And we're good to go. All right, so the last thing that I really wanna try with this tool is the hardware. So I can take off the bearing press Oh, actually, before we do that, let me show you how this works. So you have this little bearing press, right? And you know how usually people just kind of like push it onto the axle to get the bearing off? Well, you can actually put the wheel down, take the bearing press, it fits right on a bearing, hold your wheel down, and it pops it right out so easily. I'm actually really impressed with this because I did not expect that I was going to use this thing. It really works very well. And this bearing tool does work both ways. It's not just for prying out. If you want to set your bearings this way without just pressing them into the truck, it's very simple to use it, to put bearings in as well. All right, so when we, we want to use hardware, you just take out the bearing press. That'll fit on your hardware. On the back is this Phillips head, an Allen key. So I actually have Allen key hardware. So this Allen key is perfect because it fits right in there. It's the right size and everything. You hold either the Allen key or the Phillips head. Come over here. And you can either tighten or you go this way and loosen your hardware without actually taking it off of the nut. This thing is pretty awesome. I gotta admit, I'm really impressed with this tool. Um, I am really happy that I ended up getting this one. I can't use the file on it right now to show you guys because I don't need new grip. I don't have new grip to use this on. I'm sure it works great though. It's just a metal file. Um, I am happy with this thing. The D threader is awesome. The bearing press actually really impressed me. I did not expect that to be so helpful. And I think this is really cool. It comes with your Allen key and your Phillips head. It has this little ring to keep it more stable inside of there so you don't lose it. The only downfall I would say to this is you have an extra Allen key and there's nowhere to hold this thing. Not that I can find at least. If they had an attachment to keep this with it, then that would be great, but I'll just keep this in a little baggie with my tool. Other than that, it's definitely an awesome tool. Highly recommend it. The swivel is really, really awesome for the hardware. Um, the rethreader was actually really cool too. If you wanna get one of these tools for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. I just grabbed this right off of Amazon, so there will be a link to the Amazon page if that's what you would like to get. And I hope this video was helpful to you. All right, if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more how-tos, more reviews, more skateboarding, BMX, other extreme sports, or if you just wanna see some skate park tours, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.